Hey, this is Carrie Ann, and I have another video for you today. Today, I'm going to be doing um, an unboxing of um, a product that I got from uh, Dick Blick. But before I do that, I wanted to show you guys this because I think I am starting to fall in love, and I don't know when I will be able to actually get to the video. But um, I had an amazing fan. Thank you so much. Um, send me these for review. So these are the Museum Aquarelle by Karen Dosh. Um, they're really on the pricey side, but um, I heard such amazing things about them. I was desperate to try them. So I was really glad um, that I got them, but I wanted to show you the vibrancy here. This is pretty amazing um, in terms of the vibrancy. This is like really, really nice. Um, as always with the Karen Dosh, I don't know what it is with them and their black pigment, but I do not like um, the way that they make their blacks almost universally. But I wanted to show you um, my very first uh, flower that I made. So this is my uh, first flower that I made um, ever in watercolor pencil. And um, I will do some more by the time the review is up. But I wanted to show you guys real quick um, just because it's, it's I'm so impressed by these pencils. So if you see them at a discount, um, I would not say no to these. Um, so there's that. All right. So that's the one thing. And then these are the pencils um, that I got from a fan. And this is what I have, what I made with part of my order from Dick Blick. I had a gift card. So, um, you know, whenever I have a gift card to places, I sort of just go nuts. <laughs> so what I got is I got, um, in addition to getting some uh, blades for my pencil sharpener, um, I also got this owl, um, A-W-L. Um, and what it lets me do is it let me punch holes in this paper so that I can then bind my own book. And this book was super easy to make. Um, and I was really excited and I'm not sure when I would get a chance to show you the book, but I thought I would, um, show you the, the book that I, it literally took me like 10 minutes to make this. Um, so I was pretty impressed by this and I made a little like with the ends instead of tying them in like you're supposed to do. I made like a little mini bookmark that I can use to mark my page, but I'm not really gonna use it, but I do like the kind of little tassel look. Um, anyway, um, I made this with the saddle stitch, so that was really fun. And okay, next is the um, the little book that they give you. You know I love catalogs, so I'm gonna be looking through this catalog like crazy. Ooh, oh, they got the Tritone. I did a review of these Tritone pencils and they're really, really good. So um, I will give a link to that review up there, to my review of the Tritone uh, colored pencils. Um, but it looks like there's a contest here. Oh, the 12 Days of Christmas. They, yeah, they do this um, at least for the past few years. Um, I always enter, I never win, but I enter anyway. Um, and then this is from my, um, from my color along that I did a color along for October um, and this is why I have such a hard time with the color alongs because I am so far behind this was my own color along that I did and I'm still behind schedule um, but this is the the progress um, as you can see I need to do more of the background and um, also add some more details in the foreground but um, but this is where it is at the stage and I'm hoping to finish it this weekend um, but don't hold me to that because as you can see I'm super behind schedule all right, so let's get to the meat of the issue. This is, um, like I said, I had a Dick Blick gift card. Um, and I got the gift card because essentially I had a bunch of duplicates of the Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils um, that I had bought open stock. But then, um, as you saw in the video, my wife gave me the, there'll be a link to that video up there. My wife gave me the wood box for, um, for my birthday slash Christmas. So with the with the money from all those open stock pencils, I didn't realize I had so many open stock pencils. It was really out of control how many open stock pencils I had that I had never used. Um, so I ended up uh, returning those and you know what? I should not be using my owl for this. I'm the worst. Um, I'm sorry about this. And I'm also sorry for the existence of this video because I said there would be no more unboxings and here I am doing another unboxing. So like literally when I tell you I'm the worst, I really am the worst. Um, Anyway, let's open this up and show you what is in here. I hope that this is the right side. Nope, this is the, the bottom side. I want to open it from the top so I can see it the way it's meant to be seen. Um, the different tape tells me maybe someone else bought this and returned it, or maybe I'm just paranoid. I, I do tend to be paranoid. Um, but as the old saying goes, just because I'm paranoid does not mean they're not out to get me. Uh, 
which is one of my favorite carrier isms um because i i i do i get you know you guys know me I'm, I'm kind of a little bit you know weird anyway uh let's get this up so i had to open this twice all right oh so what this is is these are oil pastels which i got a pastel um notebook from a fan so i wanted to make the most use out of it so i saw this and i saw that it was a christmas special um and since i had the gift card was it it was it wasn't a lot of money that i paid um so here it is so it opens this way and you guys know i'm a sucker for the wood boxes so since I'm a sucker for the nice little boxes, I know I'm like the person that you know that they have the that they have the gratuitously ridiculous box, um, and I already have plans plans on how to maximize the use on this. Let's see how it opens. Oh, this is nice. All right, so this here looks like wasted space. I'm gonna. I think what I'm gonna do. Hold on. All right. So it comes here, there's no, there's no sample pastel card, but there is space here. So what I'm gonna try to do is, I got a 12 pack last year of the Sennelier um, oil pastels and I still have some of that left. So I'm gonna try to put the foam up there and add 12 more to up there and see if that works. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but that's my plan. And then in here, you take this out and you have brand new Sennelier oil pastels. And these are a lot of fun. I really like these oil pastels. Um, so like I said, I had the set of 12 and um, I am super excited to get uh, to get using on this. And since this is a much smaller um, case than the one that I had, um, this will be much easier to travel with. And then I can do some plain air painting with this. Um, I wish it had a handle. That's about the only thing, it has no handle just has a hinge so it has no handle so that sucks um, but I knew it didn't have a handle when I got it so I can put this in like a tote bag and take it out and then do some plein air painting with this as well as being able to paint like right on the couch um, which is awesome so that's what I got this and I will be doing my own I got canvas um, so I am ready I got canvas I got that um, pastel notebook I am ready let me see if I can go out my house is kind of a mess so this is what it looks like. Now they have different configurations of this. They have one for the watercolor um, and the watercolor one has the watercolor paints up here. They have one for the oil, for the soft pastels. Um, and I haven't, I don't know, I think it's at the bottom. And so what you get is you get a Sennelier towel, um, which I will set this towel aside and use this for my watercolor. I'm not gonna use this for oil pastels. I mean, I might, but I don't think so. And then it comes with a pencil that you can use for, I guess, sketching um, your oil pastels before you actually make them. So that's what's supposed to go up here. That's not what's gonna go up there. What I'm gonna put up there is gonna be the set of 12. All right, you guys ready to see? All right, so this is what I did. Is I have here, I took my set of 12 and hold on, let me study this. And actually only 11 fit because this is actually smaller than the one below. So I just took my Swiss Army knife and I cut along here and you'll be able to see it better right here. That's the good side. That's the side that I cut along. Um, and then after I did that, I then rearranged the order so that the new ones and the old ones are all mixed up together, but that's so that they're in sort of a color gradient family. Um, and this makes it much, much easier for me to work and to function and have all the colors mixed up. Um, this way I can just like go to the blue area, pick some blues, go to the green areas. Um, there's no real purples here. So I feel like you're just expected to mix your own purples, um, which is fine, but it has a lot of greens, a whole lot of blues, um, some, a couple of light. Okay, I said there's no purple, but this is like a couple of light, sort of light purplish colors. This is like a European skin tone here. Um, it came with one yellow. The other one had a different yellow, so I put the other yellow in here. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with what I brought because now I have all the colors here. Um, all my, um, all my um, things here. And since there's that extra room back there, um, I just put the pencil that came in there back there um, just to keep it from sliding out too much um, when it's in transport. Um, but I think it's pretty snug in here. 
and I don't think it wants to move but I just did that just to be on the safe side and then you put this back up here you close it and instead of having 24 in here I have 24 plus 11 so that's 35 see that I'm good at math all right thank you guys all right thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time don't forget to like and subscribe and share um, as well as checking out all the support links down below and I will see you guys next time with another review and another video